case technical difficulties happen, I'll say I'm back. Now, hopefully that didn't stop recording. We well, assume it didn't, but if it did, basically I walked past the Guardian Stones. I will reiterate what Guardian Stones are. So there's the standing stones in the game that provide additional buffs and perks to your characters. Now the Guardian Stones are the three first stones you come across. And they provide a 25 XP boost for, well, the Thief one, which is the one on the far left, which does um, 25 XP boost to green level perks. So it will do archery all the way up to like illusion. I think, or no, alteration, I think elude. no, I'll do alchemy, alchemy, and then you got, oh, excuse me, then you got, um, the mage stone, which does alchemy to enchanting all the different magic, then you got the warrior stone, which does enchanting, and then, oh, I cut his head off, you got the cap and the table. Take some additional armor for your troubles. Oh, there's actually some gold down here. Now, if you read this book, the Tattered Journal, basically when White Run owned this mine, this, this area is the White Run hold. So basically, this was before the mine was abandoned and the bandits took hold. This dude was the only one on shift. He was complaining that the boards were getting weak and stuff but then again he was the one that screwed up the boards to get to the iron and basically he hit the wrong rock and everything collapsed on him that's all fun now we pull this to the lever I think there's more gold in here. nope I thought we had a... what was that? now ain't this a surprise Ugh. Now, huh, what, what item should I gun for? I don't know. I really want to get the, uh, uh I believe it's called the rune hammer. The um, Dongard rune hammer. Now. There's a chance I might not be able to get it right away. Because you have to get super far in a Dongard quest line and side quests. And then there's one out of three chance you'll get it. You can get all three, you just gotta grind it long enough, but Time to end this little <laughs> Oh, but I was trying to do the unrelenting force shout, which I'm probably going to stick with. That's your best. No, I am going to do a werewolf, because why not? And I might use a goof rat a lot, because, especially during the, um, what was it? What quest line? Uh, soul sign in the D Dragonborn soul sign quest, which I'm just going to refer to that quest line as Dragonborn, because I referred to the primary storyline as the Dovahkiin because that's how I dis um, distinguish the two. No, I did not mean to grab that. Did I, did I? Oh, that is a sweet enchantment. I'm going to save that. Dismantle that. No, I won't start enchanting until I got a decent amount of stuff disenchanted. The reason is I don't want to rush into stuff. I want to try to collect as much gold as possible, especially in the beginning. Because you need as much gold as possible, at least 5,000 right away. Once you get 5,000, buy yourself a house in Whiterun or wait till you get a 
uh, courier to come by and say that, um, what's that? I was about to say something. Um, hold call. I think it's Falkreath. If Falkreath, uh, the Earl sent you a message, then he's going to tell you to go kill some bandits. And then you'll be able to start the Heartfire DLC quest. It's basically lets you build and buy your own house. Ugh. Oh, Batman. No, I had the yawn. That was my Bane impression as I yawn. Batman. Now, let's hop down here. He's already here because he didn't do shit. Now, easy way to level up your archery in the beginning. And this is kind of cheesy. Hello. This is all cheeses. Alright? You want to commit as what much cheeses as possible in the beginning of the game. Sure. Because that's well, what allows you to, what you know, you have the easiest beginning. As soon as you get the white run and do the little like back and forth white run quest, you're gonna fight a dragon. You fight a dragon like relatively quick in this game. I mean, dragons pop out of the wo woodwork as well, and that's not really fun. Riverwood's agreeable enough, I suppose. Uh, Under leveled, but you want to talk to this dude, and help him out with his little like her love triangle. Sense, I hope. I don't need your. Could you, could you give her this letter and say it's from Sven? Basically, he got match that Nord's lack of cleverness perfectly. Well, go over here. And all this is. Should teleport in here. I don't know why she's. Well, in the... one of us has to do something. I yeah. said no. Maybe no you could talk some sense no into my pig-headed no brother. Thief chasing. You what? Why that jealousy? Thank you for telling me the right. truth. So, you speak to Sven. The river would talk to this guy. Yes. Yeah. For defending uh, no his land. You will Solid always want to talk to this guy you first. Could? Because you're going to have to come back over here lash. later on. And it's easier <laughs> just to get the golden claw business done right away. No, you don't have to go in there. You can just ignore this entire quest of Before the Storm. Which I do. Everyone does. Now you gotta go back to the wood elf. The mountain just over the buildings. And he can actually teach you how to do archery. And the funny thing is, once you do this little side quest for him, comes a companion. The funny thing is, when you train him, you give him gold. As a companion, you get to take the gold right back if you tell him you gotta trade a few things. So is this is a funny I'm gonna pay you, but then again, I'm gonna take my money back situations, which is hilarious. Now, there he is. So, yeah, tell him the good tell news. Soon as I'll show you what I know. Wait. Mm -hmm. You want to talk to me after everything you've done? Good day. This Riverwood's agreeable working. enough, I suppose, for a Nord village. There's beauty here, unmatched in all of Skyrim, to be sure. He, he should be already met available Valerius. to be a companion. Farewell. Come yeah, do it right. This way. You look like a traveler. Someone that has seen faraway places and heard Skyrim. new stories. Mm -hmm. This way. If only Camilla shared my affections. Or even knew about okay, them. Okay, I guess mm -hmm. I didn't do it right. Um... If you want to know the correct way to do it, just look at Camel Works video. Um, he does amazing stuff. Camel Works is one of the few. Camel Works Smite. And then there's another person I can't remember on the top of my head that does builds. But those three guys are the best at any Elder Scrolls game. Alright, if you need builds, tutorials, go to Camel Works. And then go to Smite. Smike? I don't know. Smike. Smite, I like to call him. Uh, he's kind of weird now. Like, he does more Five Nights at Freddy's <laughs> stuff than Elder Scrolls. But Camel Works is super good. I, I highly recommend Camel Works tutorials. But you just want to head up here. In fact, 
I am going to end the video right here because this is long enough as it is and um, up here is a whole new story whole new conversation actually because up there is our first dungeon and I want to elaborate how tedious these dungeons are so I'm gonna end it right here